All right, welcome everybody. We're going to be opening up another one of these second edition uh, MetaZoo cryptidation boxes. My mom bought this, and she's like super, super eager to get this open. She's apparently bought it about a week ago and uh, has been waiting to actually come over and get it done. So, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking wine over there. I had to finish my glass of wine. Oh, God. Okay, so... It's too far over for me. I know, I'm gonna move it. Okay. All right, do that. All right, and before we start, if anybody ever watched the first one, you know, my pilot, that went so well, <laughs> I think, um, I talked about the whole crystal thing, right? So I brought it, and if it doesn't work, then yeah, the guy that blessed this, it's his fault. Um, I wanted to tell the story uh, behind this. I actually went to California back in 2007, and we were on Venice Beach. So if anybody's ever been to Venice Beach knows there are some unusual characters there. Well, this guy was sitting here with all these crystals and at, this, at the time, you know, I was obsessed with quartz, any kind of quartz. And I walked up to his table and he gave us the whole spiel behind it, which is too long to even tell. But at the end of it, he asked me if I wanted him to bless it. And I thought, okay, so this man's just gonna say a little prayer over it and let it be. No, he looks and says, this is the ocean. It's my office, man. I'll be right back. So he left and he ran off into the water and he was dancing and praising and singing and I have no clue, but he blessed it, brought it back and then told me it was 40 bucks. But then, you know, you could get these for, for five, $5. But after an hour of this whole ritual, you know, it was only right to actually buy it. So uh, last time I said that the reason why we pulled those gray cards was because of this crystal. So um, I brought it to show you what I was talking about. And hopefully it'll work this time. We shall see. If not, then he's an imposter. Anyway. <laughs> My little spiel behind it. Oh, good Lord. What? I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. He was weird, but it was cool. He was weird. <laughs> he was high as a kite, but hey, it was entertaining. Got a show and a rock. All right, so here's your <gasps> your possible. Uh, so this, we're actually looking for a card called Blue Ink, if this comes mm. out. Uh, on That would be great if we could get it. Probably not, because it is very, very limited. This one does not want to open. Oh, there we go. I'll open it this way. Or maybe not. There we go. Good lord. And, ah, not blue ink, but it's still really pretty. Oh, that is pretty. The ground hollow. Nice. Of course, it's done by Poncho as well. Oh, well, that's another one. Could be sand. Oh, good lord. We're both trying to figure out exactly which cards we want to take with us to the Collecticon in order to get signed by the various different artists. And come to find out, all my favorite arts thus far have all been done by Poncho. Um, not intentionally that, you know, it's just a matter of like, oh, this is one of my, this is one of the good ones. And then I come to find out it's him. So every single time. So I've got about five that I'll be, I'll be taking so far, uh, whenever that happens. But we've been watching some videos recently on the wilderness on people like Dr. Applesauce and a couple of other ones that have been opening up, um, a lot of the, the pre-release packs and stuff. And she's obsessed when it comes to... There's one dragon you mentioned that the background has like a rainbow type. Yes, it was to it. a full hollow and it was just rainbow, like smoke all around it. Yeah. So she's excited for that one. I'm kind of any of them, to be honest. I, I enjoy, I really like the Cumberland dragon. And something I noticed the other day, I don't know if you, you, you did you see some of the promos that they were releasing at the events, like the egg and stuff? Oh, yeah, because okay. that's one of the ones he had. Yeah. So that's, so from what I've seen, the, um, Oh, blood ruby that's not bad one of the ones that i've seen um if you look at the egg it's got and then there's also a, another card in that set called chibi uh cumberland dragon it's him wearing the egg so i guess it's like literally him hatching like the whole thing oh, that's a trip. so uh i don't know and those in those egg promos you can only get them at the convention too yeah and that was the so, one that had actual uh collect con on it too yeah so Cosmic Aura, Bookmark, Lightning Bolt, Pass Trap, T 
telekinesis. I actually haven't seen that one. Telekinesis. Fog of War. Hoop Snake. Transfer. Oh, I remember that one. And <gasps> Tizaruk. So Tizaruk. However you say that. That's pretty cool looking though. You don't have that one? No, I don't. Um, Do you want it? We'll see. We'll you see. Might. I'm a giver. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> the, um, what was it? The, oh, uh, one of my other booster boxes I'd open, I had saw that there was like a couple of damaged cards, unfortunately, out of one of my Nightfall booster boxes. And I know Pokemon has like this thing where you can kind of contact them in order to have like a card replaced if it's like severely damaged. Well, for giggles uh and to see whether or not metazoo would respond i oh chupacabra nice that's the one i wanted from what you pulled last time that's cool nice um i had reached out to them and said hey you know i know pokemon has this do y'all by chance do any of this as well and they were like unfortunately we don't have a replacement program they're like but uh if you want to they're like we'll send you a ding ding bell so i will be getting one of those promos in it looks funny um I wasn't expecting the aftermarket price on it. I mean, I don't plan on selling it, to be honest, just because I think it's cool and it's the only way you can get it is the fact that you have to go through customer service and they have to offer it to you. So, I mean, yeah. and I didn't I didn't know it was a hollow too until someone actually, uh, I saw someone else post about it online. So. I, mean, I thought it was impressive that they did something. So it just shows that they're an Admiral Com company that- They care. Know, yeah, so yeah, they customer care. service, I mean, that's the reputation. Yeah. So, shoot Pokemon. I, I had sent some damn at anyone, and I don't know if I ever told you about this. Um, I had opened up two ETBs of Shining Fates a while back, and uh, the first, well, actually, no, I opened up one of two, and the first one, everything on, on the inside was, like, smashed together. All the packs were bent in half. The promo was bent in half. Like, it was it was bad. Cat is um, cat. Whatever they did for the... Um, the middle insert to hold everything together. Just, it was so flimsy. It was terrible. So I'd reach out to customer service. They had me send it in and I had, um, and this was, I had sent it in back in like, f I don't know, February of last year, right when, or whenever Shining Fates had, had first released. And I, they told me they were going to send me a replacement. Nothing ever happened. And all of a sudden, oh, <gasps> yes, Sam. that's what I wanted. So I have reached out to them multiple times and every single time they kind of just give me the, the run around or whatever. And finally they're like, oh, well, we're just going to give you a hundred dollar check to refund you for the two ETBs. And I was like, okay. And then again, that was back in November or October of this year when they told me that. So I messaged them in January seeing, you know, when, when am I going to be receiving that check? And they're like, oh, well, our customer service is backed up. We'll get to you as soon as possible. Still nothing. So mm. I don't mm. think I'm getting my money back or any Ooh. items back from Pokemon Center. Hold that. <laughs> Hopefully, you know. So. Well, it's just good business, you know. So just take a Yeah, longer. yeah. But um, she was actually asking me oh, last night or maybe it was this morning about the wilderness. Um if I was going to pre-order any, any of the wilderness stuff. And I'm actually, I was able to get into one of Rudy uh, from Alpha Investments, like Patreons. I know like everybody is, it's so difficult to get in, get into it because he only has a limited yes. amount and you have to be able to, as soon as someone leaves, you basically have to have to get into it or else like, or like sign up for it or else you're not going to get in period. And um, I guess the other day someone left their, their $15 sub so I, I went ahead and snagged that, and I'm waiting for, he already announced that he'll be doing a um, a bundle sometime this, this month, so I'm waiting for that to come in. And But what I was going to tell you is the reason why I was waiting was because of the fact that when Rudy does his, because he's he actually pays MetaZoo extra to like do like custom cards for him, um, he always includes a promo and a, like an exclusive play mat. And the, the promos and play mats generally go for like, 250 to 300 oh. so you're literally like for the promo and the playmat itself you could if you really wanted to you could get that in sell the promo and playmat and pretty much the rest of the, of the box of everything else in it is is pretty much free in the 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 playmats aren't they on the website aren't they the ones that are like 40 and 50 bucks 
Yes, but he does it. He does like certain exclusive ones that are only that you get through him and him only. Same with the generally the, his play mats like match whatever the um, the promo card that he's released for that month is, or for that that it, that releases. And oh, that's cool. Oh, that's pretty. Eternal snowflake. Well, I, I hope you let me know because I was actually going to order the wilderness box last night, but I know with the website they were saying you know. On the official website that things were more expensive like say say this box was going for 139.99 on amazon they're going for yeah. right now i got this one for i think 89.99 yeah and that's what so when rudy does them and that is technically speaking that's msrp that's what like they're supposed to be listed as of course you're going to have people that you can get them cheaper because they're they're printed more and people are just trying to offload them to get to the next step yeah um he's so cute yeah and then, but yeah, I, I don't, I think I'm going to buy one of these things because like he does his, his bundles for like, I think it's like 400 or 450 or something. And it's funny because I was watching his channel and he, he even knows that Squatch. That is awesome. <laughs> he even knows that That's people, great. people will literally buy his sets and sell the promos to keep the rest of the stuff. Um, cause it basically, you're, you're doing it, you're keeping it for free yeah. at that point if you really wanted to. And, um, but that's the thing, like, you can only buy those, that, that promo or bundle, um, if you're a part of the Patreon, and that's why the promos go for, like, a bit more money, is because that's the only way to get them, and there's only a limited amount of slots that he allows to go through yeah. on his, on his thing. So, I mean, sometimes you can buy more than one bundle, uh, depending on your tier or if he lets you. Uh, I think I'm at the base level tier, so I think I would only be able to buy, like, one bundle or whatever that is. Uh, I haven't done it yet, so I'm not quite certain. Uh, I guess I'll find out at some point. Let's look up shadows. He meet. What is it? Min Minume? Minume? I can't pronounce that. And Slide Rock Bolter. Oh, that's cool. So it's basically like a mudfish. Yeah. Made me kind of nervous at first. I ain't gonna lie, because these packs are a lot easier to open than the last one. And I know I, I got so kind you of were, nervous you because worry, remember when you said you like the reseal, you know, the reseal them, and I was like, yeah. oh god. I kind of noticed that go. too. At the beginning, Did you notice like, that? Yeah, I kind of oh got gosh. a little worried. I was like, wow, was like, why are mm. these so easy to open? It was it was scared. up up until I pulled a full hollow. I was like, okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay. But I mean, that's the thing. and also with with Metazoo, they do have it where like they have these tamper proof, tamper proof. Um, so if someone were to like try to peel it off, like it would leave marks on it. So yeah. you would know if someone has opened it up or not. Oh, it made me a little nervous. Oh, there it is, Austin. He's cute. Because I'm fat. You, I'm no, fat no, just hairy. You're not fat. He's I not fat. fat. He's I'm plump. Y'all have never seen him, but he I'm is chubby. not fat. He I'm is hairy. Fat. It's the Lebanese blood got him. <gasps> Look. Oh, Babe the Blue Ox. Yeah. It's one of my favorite Yay! artworks. Yay! I wanted one because that was the last one you pulled. Yeah, I pulled, yeah. yeah it's such a pretty card. That was the last card. one you pulled. I was like, that's out of all of it, that's what I wanted. Yeah, it's really pretty. So, I got the one I wanted. But, Nothing yeah. Better. So, I, but I, I'm, part of me, I, I'm not, I'm not going to spend the money, but part of me was like, I wanted to get some of those like pre-release packs that they released for how Wilderness. Easy. But in the same sense, it's like, I want to wait, I want to save all my money and wait for like when we go so I can actually get yeah. some stuff there or get stuff signed. Um, I looked online and I think... I think each artist, <coughs> from what I'm seeing, I think they charge like $20 uh, per signature. So, oh, shoot. Yay. Flatwoods Monster. Oh. <coughs> Did you notice this? It's a little alien oh, ship. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah. That is cute. I never noticed that before. Little alien ship right there on the, on the side. But, oh, I love that. So we'll be going to that. Um i'm i'm really excited to go it's funny me, my girlfriend and i were going at it she's like you know you don't have to spend money there you can save money huh. and i was like but yeah. but <laughs> no so i'm i'm being told i have to to budget how much money i'm allowed to spend there and um because it's, like, it's like taking a kid into toys rust being like you can look but um you well, can't buy anything well we're actually well that's the thing like two <sighs> week two weeks before that we'll be in florida for a week so will we be going to Universal and possibly SeaWorld? Oh, oh got look. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, so we'll be 
probably going to SeaWorld. Uh, my girlfriend's a huge Harry Potter nut. She's never, not only has she never been to Florida, um, she's never been to Universal. So that'll be a fun, a fun experience for her to go. And um, we're actually going to be, I think the plan is my parents and I are taking her into, they have a little shop that is the, uh, what is it called? It's like the, the wand store or whatever, where the wand chooses you mm -hmm. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, So we were hoping we can go there when it's slow, so maybe, like, she gets picked or something. So we'll see what happens. Because she's so cute, like, when she said she loved Harry Potter. Yeah, and, of course, not. like I told her, I, I never had her as a little girl, so I didn't, um, wasn't able to, like, give her a birthday party. So we so actually bad. just recently, well, last month, gave her a birthday party, which was we did Harry Potter. Yeah. So, yeah. You're never too old for Harry Potter. I don't think you're really ever too, too old for anything. anything. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say. I was about to say really anything because I mean. I mean, look at me, 43. Hey. And you're messing with around with Metazoo. Uh, yeah. I'm freaking 28. I literally just turned 28 two days ago, <laughs> and I'm I dabble with Pokemon. I've got Funkos, Metazoo. Um, I mean, I got all kinds of stuff that I'm messing around with. Oh, that's cool. Do they actually have a um, hollow in that? No, unfortunately. Oh, they don't? Uh-uh. That would have been cool. Yeah. <gasps> wow, look at that. Matlocks. I see, and like I said before, I, I would have man. never, like, thought to collect these because I liked, you know, so, I thought I thought it was, like, only the <clears throat> the nightfall was, like, the Halloween, scary, kind of, you know. No, they got stuff, I didn't know that stuff they were all put like out this. in every set. But that's the other thing too is um, oh, so you you know me I've always liked like Asian like art and Asian like mythology and stuff, mm -hmm. um, aka dragons and all the other fun jazz. But they after UFO, which is so it's wilderness and then it's UFO and then after that they're going to be moving into like the whole Japanese mythology. Whoa, wait, oh, wait a minute. After Wilderness, there's going to be a UFO thing. There's the next set after Wilderness. They've announced it's going to be called UFO. So I guess space or area. Yeah. So now we're talking. Yeah, and then I'm hoping they do another thing. Of course, they probably will. Oh, I didn't even anti magic field. Um, it's a little a little frog. frog. Is, it, is it Loveland? Yeah, Loveland. Um, I'm hoping they do oh, more Halloween stuff. I'm a big Wendigo person. Uh, my other Wendigo card actually just came in today. Um, so I've got a three in total. Oh, oh shoot! Oh, right on. Look at that. That's cool looking, man. I think your mama's gotten good at this box pulling, huh? See, you seem to have better okay. luck when it comes to that. I ain't gonna say it no more. Here we go. <laughs> you seem to have better luck when it comes to picking out the boxes. Because I'm... My stuff just crap. Excluding excluding my one pin box, which I wish I had recorded that at the time. I never did, because I opened it up by myself, because I'm a child. And... Um, <laughs> I got a little too excited. Oh, that and that that's when I got the alt art uh, T. Kettler. But there is a there in that set in those pin boxes there is an alt art um, Wendigo, and that's the one that's another one I want to get to at some point. I'm not getting it anytime soon, oh, nope. I love that. but eventually I will. The black cat. I didn't even know that I came in a reverse hollow because you can barely see it as is. I know. It's wild though. But I. Uh, I'm actually curious to see what they do. Not bad, not they bad. apparently so. Um, I also watched this. Um, they put on the MetaZoo Discord that they're going to be the next Collecticon. So not the one that we're going to, but the one they're about to go to. It's going to have tournament packs. I don't know what that means. Hmm. So I don't know if that's like some other like exclusive art or certain things. That, I I don't know. It it's kind of vague. But also the um, also the the USPCC uh, Kickstarter just ended, so I actually have one of the. I'm not gonna lie, that looks like something else. Uh, it looks like a sperm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <Set it. laughs> yep. Uh, I literally just watched Rick and Morty the other day, like and caught up on season five, and they have that episode of. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> And that's literally what I thought it was for a split second. I was like, oh my God. Leave it to your mom. Um, and she'll say it all. Her. They. What was. Shoot. Where, where was I going at? Messed up his train of thought. Uh, it's, it's whatever. 
frozen people. Oh, the Kickstarter. Yeah, so the Kickstarter ended. Um, I actually, I have the highest tier. I have one of the highest tier with one uncut sheet. I have one of the second tier. Um, so the five hundred dollar one with the with an uncut sheet, and then I have one of the third tier, which is like comes with just with all three decks, and then I think like some promos, and I think one of the uh, promo boxes or something like that. So uh, those are supposed to be scheduled to come in by May, is what they said. I have a feeling with a lot of even though I love MetaZoo. Um, when it comes to their release dates, they're generally yeah, they not the comments? not when they're supposed to be. Yeah. They're like way after. So I'm curious to see exactly how that's going to pan out. And um, but I mean, I'm, I'm either way. I'm waiting uh, to see what happens. Especially the fact that not only did they say, "Oh, we're going to be including the poker chips," like as like I think it's like the gold, the silver, and then I think whatever the the final is one is. Or? It's like some red one. Um, which, if those are possibly gradable, I might get that graded, too. And it's something but, different, you know. Yeah, it is It is something it's, different. But also, they had released that they were going to... I guess it's because people weren't buying them. Oh, Chaos Crystal. Oh, that is so pretty. Um, I guess because people were not buying the art prints as much as they thought, even though they had them at a $5,000 price tag, which I think is a little, little too steep. Uh, they did say that the remainder... That they were not going to be selling. They swapped it up. And I think it was like 120 something of the art prints will be randomly put into people's orders. Um, so I'm hoping I get one. Um, I mean, that would be a fun little fun little thing to, to, to get as well that I didn't have to pay for. This but one would we'll be see. in a good box too. Beast of Busco. Busco, yeah. Cause you got mainly like old gems last time. Yeah, mine was just straight gems. Well, that was no, that was your box too that you bought. Uh -uh. No, 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 that, no, was, that was my box. That was yours. That was my box. That's right. <clears throat> but um, okay, I'm lucky with Amazon because I have to say I was kind of nervous. I'm not gonna lie, and I know the damage is not like huge, but they had put this one like unlike the other one, they actually had it in a box. They had put this one in a bubble bag, which, you know, were not very sturdy, especially when they literally launched it onto my porch and it dented. So I was a little worried about that, but. I don't know. But, uh, so I'm, I'm hoping it comes in by May. And the reason being is because if so, I'll be probably be picking through some of those promos, like the King Wendigo or the King Mothman. Um, and probably get some of those signed as well, if possible. But I hope that's pretty. Oh, that is Mermaid pretty. scales. Well, you you know you gave me yours last time. Did I? Yeah, because you said because it was like rainbowish, and so you can have it back. <laughs> that works for me. No, you didn't have it, and you gave it to me because of the rainbow. Because you were just so excited about the Wendigos. Oh, you were yeah. like, oh, I know you like this. You could have it. <laughs> I think you were like willing to I give was, up. You could, he would I give was up his so first happy. born at that time. <laughs> I was so happy, man. I I just I really like the Wendigo art, and I finally got around to watching the <laughs> Antlers movie, um, which. Okay, I don't know if I told you about this. I see the gripe in that movie. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the first, like, third of it, I thought was great. Mm -hmm. the, the suspension to it, it was, was fantastic. The, the way the kid, you know, plays the character. I mean, it literally looked like his, you know, he was... I, I don't know how to explain it. It just terrified the entire way. And also everything that occurred during it. Oh, Force God's Amber. I actually pulled the reverse of this, so you got the full hollow. But the I loved it up until the very end when they finally showed, or it kind of showed the creature. And don't get me wrong, obviously you're gonna you're gonna have to use CGI, but I'm a big fan of practical effects, and it just did not look that great. And then on top of that, the the way the Wendigo dies at the end. Shut spoiler. It's been out for a little bit. You should know this by now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you should know this by now. The way the way it dies was just kind of dumb. Um, like I get it, you have to destroy the it's it's like actual heart in order to kill it. But just the way oh, that's it was awesome. You got that too, right? Uh, yeah, I, I got that last time. Yeah, power up red. But the way they did it, I was just like, come on, man. And uh, 
So that was a little disappointing. So I mean, eventually they'll come out with more more movies similar to it. So hopefully they do a little bit better. But I I really enjoyed the child actor. I thought he I thought he did great. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Yeah, it. I mean, it's worth seeing at least the the first third of it. I'm not gonna lie, the first third of it is great. Because I've seen about everything they've ever had done on Mothman. You know, that's ever since I was little. They've always had movies, documentaries. So. But I, I'm still excited. And why, I was about to say, I'm really excited for the USPCC um, stuff to actually fully come out and release. My only problem... Oh, there's Hodag. Nice. So I actually have the promo that's over there of him now. So then there's the the normal Hodag. Yeah, I thought that was so pretty. I know it's not the shirt you wanted, but the card is beautiful. What is this? It has writing. This... What does it say? This around, I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not. Maybe it is, but there's like a like oh, a signature. Yeah. There's like a signature or something. It's right there. Viseron. Let me see. Viseron. Do you see that? I've never seen that on a card. Yeah. Viseron. I'm gonna have to look to see if that's supposed to be there or not. Viseron or something. Yeah, that's that's cool. But, um, yeah, so I thought your car was cool. My only problem with recent, like, with, and don't get me wrong, I love the fact that MetaZoom is expanding and collaborating on so many different things, but part of me feels like they're expanding a little too quickly with all these promo cards, like, throwing everywhere, and I love promo yeah, cards, and that's, that's one of the things that I, you know, I really like about, oh, where to go, champ? <laughs> well, we already saw it. The Bigfoot. But I'm excited, though. Bigfoot. Look at that, look at that. Like I'm, I'm happy for them that they're expanding so address, quick, we'll so so quick. But it seems like it's like everywhere has a promo card now. Like, uh, I I really like the the Channel Fireball promos, especially the Headless Horseman, because I just find it hilarious. But I see that they have one now for a Cumberland Dragon or whatever. And as much as I want it, I don't want to buy the the bundle just to get it. So I'm probably gonna wait until afterwards where the prices come down, and I'll probably just buy it on the aftermarket. But see, Poncho did this one. See, I wanna, I wanna get this one signed just for me. Good Bigfoot. I mean, that's the king of the apes. King of the apes. He's he's not a king of the apes, is he? He's a human. Matlock's silver cat. It's got like a little, cute. like a ball, little spikes on the <laughs> tail. Balancing beam, ice storm. Oh, I messed it up. Scattershot and Trapardo. It's the thing from Men in Black. Such a weird little thing. It looks just like the thing from Men in Black. No, but I, one. um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's, I don't know. There's so many promos. And then I saw that they released, of course, the, they're doing like a, they're doing a promo collab with eBay. Of all oh, people. Yeah. Really? So apparently, and the only way to get it is, it, well, it's kind of like a little vague. If you buy a card, a raw card, that goes for about $500 or more, then it is gets sent to CGC, which is a intermediate, or like a, not another grading company, but it gets sent to them for them to verify and make sure that the card is real, and then it gets sent to you. So it's good in the sense that, you know, you have that verification on cards that are like really expensive, but in this end, oh, so you got another Babe the Brox. So it's great. So it's great to have that verification, but in the same sense, it's like, and then also if they verify that it's real, then they send you, or I don't know, I don't know if it's eBay or if it's like, or how you have to prove it, but then they send you a promo card along with the card you bought. So it's like, but right now, unless you're buying like the original Kickstarter cards that, you know, are, you know, in raw, like a Mothman or something, most of the cards raw are not worth 500 or more at this moment and most of the ones that are uh are in psa slabs or graded so you have that authentication already so i mean i don't know it's just it's a little weird to me on how they're doing it so snowing earth aura chaos potion haste i don't think i pulled that one pyrokinetic blast snow snake fire trap Hide behind Thorn Whip and Squonk. Oh, he is so cute. I don't know. There's just something about him. He's it's so the cute. Reverse is this supposed to be like a long nose? 
It kind of yeah. looks like that. Yeah, like I know. It looks but like it something else. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. But it's still cute. <clears throat> I'm trying to behave myself this time. Behave. Oh, did I? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. But I am uh, looking at a couple different things and deciding on what, whether or not, like, trying to pick and choose. With everything coming out, it's like trying to trying to whittle down to see exactly what what you really want to spend your money on and what you what you don't. So, I mean, with the USPCC, with with everything that I have on between all three of my accounts, it came up to like a total of like probably like oh, Fresno Nightcrawlers. Well, that's cool. That's like the pants they have. They're yeah. selling on the, yeah. on the website. I almost bought a pair, to be honest. I thought they Well, I know cool. you said something like you, you wish the shirt would have been that. Or so something. they have, yeah, they have a promo that is the Nightcrawlers, and it has, like, rainbows and stuff on the inside, mm. on the background. But it's just cool. Oh, yeah, the I see the little, there's the rainbow. Yeah. Um, but I think, I think like, my order total came out to, like, 2,100 in total between everything that I got on all three of my accounts. So... Until I get the stuff in and until, I mean, obviously I bought the stuff at distribution level to, to resell a good amount. Until I get everything back in and, and a good chunk of it resold, they're, I'm kind of limited as to what I could buy for a good little bit. So, I don't know. I'm debating. I'll probably open up one of each of the decks and then the rest of them I'll keep sealed for my own collection and also sell some, uh, of course, to recoup costs back. And of course, I have those promos, the 200, the, what was it, serialized, the 250, and then the serialized 1,000. So, oh, you got oh, another Bigfoot. That is awesome. Yay. So now you can look between both of them to see which one is in better condition, and then get the signed from there. Because it's like every, every art that I like, I saw another card that I like, I saw Poncho on the bottom of it. Yep. I think he's just one of the more favorites, although... I will say when it comes to the Nightfall, where's that? The Mothman. I actually like the Nightfall Mothman more than the other one, and the Nightfall one is done by Victor Lar Larson. So. No, I gotta figure out. See, I just like because he, you know, he has all that. He likes all that creepy stuff. Oh. Plus, growing up, I had a best friend named Poncho. We used to go to concerts. I went to uh, the shows my age. Went to the 1992 Metallica concert. Actually, it was me and your dad. Oh, it was. I'll never forget March 7th, 1992. We went saw Metallica, and my friend Poncho was there, and uh, myself and his dad both are short. So God bless Austin. He was short too. Um, but Poncho was a lot taller, so he would put me up on his shoulders so I could actually see over top of everybody and actually watch the concert. So that was cool. Oh, Salem Witches. I wanted that one. Did I pull that one on the last one? I think you did. Oh, I don't remember. See, I've always wanted to go to Massachusetts. So, I don't like anything else to do with the Salem Witch. Trial. We come into an end. This is the sad part. Oh, my. So, this makes me <sighs> want to, like, go right home and order another one. I've gotten and, lucky so far. And that's the problem with card collecting versus <laughs> versus Funkos and stuff. It's yeah. like, Funkos, you just get it, you're good. Card collecting, you're just sitting there cracking open packs. And as soon as you are finished, you're like, oh, well, if I get more, maybe I could pull X, Y, and Z. And, oh, Space Penguins. Oh, look at that. Yeah, because I've been very lucky with both boxes. Very lucky. I ain't going to say why again. But anyway, I've gotten very lucky. Yeah, you know, I mean, Funko Pops, I, I love them because, you know, they can kind of represent your childhood and things you watched. And, of course, I liked all the, you know, hair metal bands. And so, I, you know, I got all those, um, you know, like Slash and anybody, everybody from Guns N' Roses and Megadeth and all that stuff. So, it, it kind of makes you bring back memories as child and TV shows you used to watch. But... Like you said, you know, once you put it up, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm taking some to get signed, which is kind of exciting, but still. Um, I'll have to, next time, show them my Funko Pop oh. collection. <laughs> if I can eventually get my stuff, my, it, it's my like office set my up, Funkos right? On I'd, love, I'd love to show off, like, what stuff that I have. But <clears throat> I, um, I've been, I'm a sucker for, did you mess it up? Darn here? it, I messed it up again. That's okay. Maybe nobody saw it. I'm a sucker for uh, glow in the dark pops. So, and especially like the anime ones. So, uh, today, 
luckily they did another drop on the Infinite Deku uh, Funko exclusive, so I picked up two of those. Um, one, of course, my, my ideology when it comes to Funkos is if I know it's going to be popular, I'll generally buy two. To pay for the uh, one. Yep, to pay for the other one. Like, so, Jersey Devil, that card is cool. I, I wanted one. So, I'd already seen it, so, but I was excited. And, of course, it's also a way to fight, like, so you can kind of pick out which box is nicer. But, in the same sense, I want to get a glow-in-the-dark. I've been watching a couple different channels, um, and I saw that there there is a way for you to go ahead and like, get, like, a baseball bat uh, case, and you can use black lights, and you can set up your glow-in-the-dark pops, and, of course, put it up on the wall. And once you turn everything on, of course, everything will start glowing up. So, oh, there's the reverse hollow of the That's Walking awesome. Sam. Yay, so I got both. Yep. So, I want to do that. Uh, there's quite a few other things I'd, I'd like to eventually do when it comes to, like, just the way my stuff yeah, is set up. Again. But. At two left. <laughs> yeah, see, the Funkos that I'm getting signed, except for the one for Creep Show, I'm going to keep. But the rest of them I just bought just to get signed, so, you know. There's nothing that I can particular, like, you know, if it was Slash or something, you know, so of course something I would never is. get rid of it, but if it's something that I wasn't fond of, I just bought to get signed. Yeah. I'll make sure I don't mess up this time. Okay. The last one. That was the last, last one. I didn't get that one yet, did I? That's the one I wanted. The Salamander. That one's cool, too. Shadow people. I can't believe they don't have one. Oh, that are hollow. Oh. Oh, Chessie. Nice. Notice it's it's technically Loch Ness monster. I would yeah. think, but yeah. it's called Chessie instead of Nessie. Nessie. I don't yeah. know if that's like a, you know, if it was like one of those things where the trademark. Yeah, trademark. Yep. For whatever reason, so. But it's still a really pretty card. It is. It's very pretty. So, All right. This the is the one. very last pack. The Light Aura, Cactus Cat, Gumbaroo, he just looks stoned, man. White Thing, Sam's Four Leaf Clover, Grounding, Ice Spell, Stones Skin, and <sighs> another Space Penguins. Do you have that one? Uh, I think I do. And this one actually has a little alien on it. It has an alien on it, too. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So that's not bad. No, for... I think I did very good. Yeah. It's a lot of different ones that I wanted. So, so Ground, happy. Blood Ruby, Space Penguins, Chessie, Walking Sam, Josie Devil, Another Space Penguins, Salem Witches, Bigfoot, Nightcrawlers, Squonk, Babe the Blue Ox, Drapeto, Bigfoot again, I Hodag. It is so pretty. What? Which one? This one. It oh, is the, cool the power up or uh, the they're all, I mean, this one. Oh, so you like the Hodag pretty. one? Yeah. I mean, they're all really cool. Uh, of course, I love that one. Power up, Beast. Tis a root, chaos crystal. See, I kept pulling the reverse hollow, so you pull the f the full hollows of these. That one just looks weird. Black I love cat. That. You can barely tell, but it's I like know, just it's, cool. it's like just enough for the silhouette. Balking Sam, Matlocks, Funeral Mountain, Death Beam, Flatwoods, Baby Blue Ox. I still this is probably my favorite art. That squatch. And you got a couple of these other ones. And then Chupacabra, of course. The three that I wanted was this one. The one that reminds me of Beetlejuice. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the ox. The, so ox. the fact that I got everything else. Oh, my gosh. You're happy. Yes, very happy. Oh, speaking of which. Uh, could not oh, be no. more happy. Oh, shoot. Where's that? Uh, Space penguin. <laughs> oh. Got you this. What's that? Oh, you got me a book? It's a binder. Oh, it's, um, is that Pokemon? So it's got Pikachu on the background, yeah. but I have one of these that I use myself. Aww. So they're like 20 bucks on Amazon. It's like a certain, um, I mean, obviously the card binder, but it, it's really, really nice, oh, for, nice for 20 bucks. I mean. Oh, and these, these packets. Don't you, eat those. You know the joke behind this? No. You gotta go hand it to Terry. She knows the joke behind it. I watch way too much Snapped. Now you're gonna think his mother's crazy, which I am. I've already said that before. And Snapped, <laughs> if you if consume enough of these, it's undetected. So the joke is, every time I'm mad at Terry, which is we've talked about before, it's my wife. I hand her to her, and I'm like, I just want to let you know I was thinking about you. 
And she goes, okay, honey, what did I do now? <laughs> <laughs> That's always been the big joke. But yeah. So every time I get one, I hand it to him. Oh, yay, oh, yeah. I got another binder. Yeah, they're nice. That is nice. And then it fits in perfectly. Easy, okay. easy. There you go. Nice. That's awesome. Thank you. No problem. Yay. All right. Anything else you want to say before we close up? That's it. All right. See y'all later. Thank you.